Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick little DVD uh, uh, collection video here for you. I'll have more in the future, but I just want to get a little quick one out of the way to see how it goes. Um, this first DVD set, as you can see, is Mr. Bean. It's got the whole series of Mr. Bean episodes on it. It's got three different discs. Volume 1, Volume 2, and Volume 3. There's like 14 episodes in total, plus there's a little documentary of Mr. Bean called The Story of Bean. Then there's a few, a couple of never before seen sketches called Bus Stop and Library. And plus there's all, uh, and there's some DVD features. Of course, The Story of Bean, that documentary, and there's, there's never before seen sketches. And there's some, uh, little comic relief skits that that Rowan Atkinson guy was in. Uh, and then there's a, a trailer to the cartoon Mr. Bean show. I've never seen that, but I've heard a few people talking about it, say how it was pretty good and all. And then it's got a little biography and filmography of him. Well, up to the, at least up to the point when this DVD came out, which was a few years ago, I believe. And, um, that's pretty much it. I, I'm not a big fan of no British different British comedies this is about the only one I can stand to watch because it's really funny he, he doesn't really talk much and he says a few things here and there but whenever he says something it's really funny and it's, he's like he's not like he acts like he's stupid and all but I don't think he's really stupid but the way he acts the way he acts stupid is really funny and if in, in, any of you haven't seen it I'd highly recommend you see it because it's You'll laugh a lot if you really like comedies and stuff. This is a pretty good classic one. Okay. And the next DVD set is Best of Lucy and Friends. It's 36 episodes on three discs. Well, there's actually a fourth disc, but it's just a few episodes of a show called Life with Elizabeth with Betty White in it. I haven't bothered even to check that those episodes out yet because you know I just got I got it for Lucy I didn't care for the Left with Elizabeth episodes I may check it out someday who knows but in the meantime let's see it's a Lucy show it ran from 1962 to 1974 it was basically split up in between a couple different shows cause the first uh, little bit of shows she was that worked at, and she was in Connecticut, and like the first, the first few years of the Lucy show was her and the, the girl that played Ethel on the um, Vivian Vance that uh, played Ethel on uh, I Love Lucy was with her on the first few years of the show. Well, she played a character named Viv. As you can see here, it says Lucy and Viv put in a shower. It's pretty good. It's, no, I don't. It's not quite as good as uh, Isla Lucy, but it's pretty close and it's pretty hilarious. The, f the first couple, of, she's on that on here. It's only got a couple of the episodes that, that Vivian Vance was in. It's, it's really funny because you know it's almost like Isla Lucy. You no, know, didn't get canceled or anything. It just it's like feels like Lucy and Ethel just divorced Ricky and. And Fred and just lived out, went moved into with each other out somewhere else. You know, they're pretty. They're just like they're Lucy Ricardo and Ethel Mertz characters in this, in the first couple episodes. It's pretty funny. Um, like one my out of all these episodes. Oh, excuse me, I'm not feeling too good today, so I'll kind of mess up my talking here. But out of all these episodes on these. On, let's see, on disc one, I'd have to say my favorite episode would have to be the, there you see it says Lucy the Bean Queen. It's about, uh, there's this, uh, Lucy's wanting to refer, uh, get new furniture in her apartment. And, she, you know, she's trying to get a loan from the, her boss, which is this guy right there, Mr. Mooney. And he went, uh, co-signed for a loan that she wanted. And there's this other guy that came in, guy that 
know, sells beans and all that, and Mr. Mooney put in, uh, like, $5,000 worth of money into the little bean business that the guy had, and the, like, there's a like, little saying that the uh, bean guy had that said, these aren't the best beans you've ever had, and you can get double your money back, and well, Lucy read that first, she thought that was really stupid, but she really needed money, so she, uh, decided to come up with a little plan here to get a bunch of money, because she'd buy some beans and take it back to a different store and get double her money back, and she eventually bought a bunch of money to get, a bunch of beans to get a bunch of money, uh, and return them to get a bunch of money, and then, then she actually finally tasted the beans, and she, she said that they were the best beans she ever had, so she ripped up the check that got, the bean guy gave her, and and their uh, movers are bringing the the bean uh the excuse me the furniture in their new furniture into her apartment and and she telling them to take it back and but the bean guy was said oh that's a perfect you no know, testimony of people liking my beans and so he decided to pay, let her keep the furniture and he'd pay for it and that's pretty funny um let's see a lot of the I haven't been while I just watched a little bit of the disc one the other day. I haven't watched much of the other ones in a little while, so I can't really get my favorite on those. Um, go back to the Mr. Bean episodes, Bean show here. Oh, sorry. Oh, let's see here. Other than the first disc here. After all these, out of all these, I'd have to say my favorite episode would have to be a lot of the favorite skit I'd rather say the favorite skit would have to be let's see, I'm trying to remember them I'd be have to, I guess since I'm a horror movie guy I'd have to say the whole skit called horror movie in it he, him and uh, Mr. Bean and his um, girlfriend go to see um, Nightmare on Elm Street and it's where the skit's only like 5-10 minutes long and it's like they see the entire movie in that little 5-10 or 10 minutes but it's funny, you know, he screams, and she screams, and it's, you'd have to see, check it out yourself to, I'm not good at describing funny, or things that are funny, but, so I bet if you check it out, you'll, if you like funniness, you know, check it out, you'll laugh at it, I'm sure. Uh, I really like this show. Uh, now that last Mr. Bean movie that came out, that one where he went on vacation, won a contest and got free uh, trip to Europe. I uh, didn't, you know, it was an okay movie, but oh, I got that DVD too because I actually went to see that in theaters last year and when it came out, uh, I didn't really like it too much. It was, you know, it was okay. It didn't really seem like Mr. Bean all, all that good. It wasn't the best Mr. Bean stuff, but or just terrible because uh, I heard in the last couple of years he did an interview saying that 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 most recent Mr. Bean movie would have been this is going to be his last time being Mr. Bean because he doesn't really want to play it anymore just uh, kind of sad because I think that along with some other show he was in called Black Adder helped you know, get him notoriety and fame and help people in the United States like him and he's had a good career when he Came over here with the brought his Mr. Bean character over here and pretty good. Uh, this DVD was put out by A and E. What was weird because I first saw the show. It wasn't on A and E. It was on a cha a local channel around here called KCPT. It's like a little public, you know, television. It's like paid for by the public. And I. I it's been years since I've seen it on TV, and, and a few years ago, oh, no, excuse me, a few years ago when I saw this in the store, and I was like, oh, I love that show, you know, I have to get the DVD, so I ended up getting it, and it, I haven't watched it in a while, but I always love watching Mr. Bean, because it always makes me laugh, and if I'm feeling down or anything, I watch it, and you know, it helps pick me back up again, and now well, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry I can't, I'm not a good talker or anything, but this is the first time trying it out. 
I'll do. Hopefully, I'll do, be able to do better later. Well, that's it for now. I'll catch you guys later on a, another video. Thanks. Bye.